Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Fuji K out foraging today. It's the 17th of November and it's a sunny day, but it's pretty chilly. Now around Herefordshire where I live at this time of year, in all of our unimproved grassland fields, uh, loads of wax caps come up. So I'm uh, doing another wax cap video today. The wax caps to me are one of the most beautiful families of mushrooms or genesis of mushrooms that we have in the UK. And uh, we're so lucky in this county to have have such a wide variety of them growing in abundance and uh, one of them's just down here so that's what we're going to focus on today but quick shout out first of all to Robbie Salmon and all of our young fans for the channel um, I didn't start learning about mushrooms till I was in my early 20s so all of you youngsters watching these videos you've got a massive head start on me which means I expect you to know a lot more than I do by the time you get to my age anyway on to the mushrooms down here Eric we've got a pair of beautiful deep red slightly conical shaped mushrooms that are quite big with yellow showing through there but look at the deep crimson of that one there these are our crimson wax caps, Hygrocybe punachia, and uh, they're one of the, the three main really red wax caps that we get in the UK, but these ones are the biggest and the deepest red. Now, around this field there's lots of them, so I'm going to try and lead Eric safely to a few others to look at. Because just over here, somewhere just over here, we have... Well, there's lots more everywhere, but I wouldn't be picking these, but someone's nicked, uh, knocked this one over anyway, so I'll show you this. Beautiful conical shaped red mushroom. Some of the blackening wax caps start off red and they're more conical than this. Look at the colors there. And it's a, a deeper red than our much more bright and vibrant. Here we go, this is a different type of red wax cap. This is our scarlet wax cap, always much smaller, a much brighter red than our crimson that we have here. Uh, neither of these are ones that I pick for food um, because uh, even though there's an abundance of them around here, uh, their habitat in the UK in general is shrinking because they don't uh, take well to agricultural chemicals at all. Uh, in fact, any sort of agricultural fertilizers kill most members of the wax caps family, wax cap family. Um, and in my last video, I showed you the one that I do pick from the family, uh, the meadow wax cap, Cufophilus pretensis. So watch that video. If you find these around anywhere, you're gonna find a meadow wax cap too, and they're a better edible than uh, these are, and uh, they're much more common and widespread. So safe to pick them without no, with, uh, in the knowledge that you're not gonna be damaging uh, the sustainability, I suppose, of the wax caps. Anyway, let's uh, head over this way because we've got some giant showstoppers. Little babies all along the way, so watch where you tread, Eric. And here's another one. Look, with ice on the top. As you can see, when the mushroom matures, they start to get a yellow edge and uh, the cap will lighten up and fade. And over here, there's another one that's faded just there even more. Now your scarlet wax caps will not get to this size. The, the splendid wax cap is uh, sort of in between. Won't quite get to this size, but it will get bigger than our, look at that, more scarlets beautiful red mushrooms. Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> Look at that. Stunning. And then, over here, we've got our most mature of the Hygrocybe punichia, the crimson wax cap, and you can see they're not crimson at all anymore. Quite yellow very waxy to the touch 
and the gills are particularly flaky and, and waxy as well on, on this mushroom. Um, now the splendid wax cap is a little bit smaller than this and should smell of honey. Um, the scarlet wax cap as, as you've seen is quite a bit smaller than this normally and is a more bright vibrant red. Um, there are possibly some other smaller red wax caps and there's also the blackening wax caps that are red and then go black. Um, all of which you could confuse young crimson wax caps for. Um, so uh, really, as I said, these are mushrooms that I love finding, I love seeing at this time of year. There's yellows and whites and pinks and all kinds of different colors of wax caps in the fields around here. But the only one that I pick, or the only two that I pick are the snowy and the meadow wax cap. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, if you want to find out more, go to wildfooduk.com.